Hey, what's up fellow YouTubers, fellow Toy Nuts and Toy Collectors, this is Starstream1988 and I'm very excited to do this new toy review of mine. Um, if you have just seen my toy haul, for those of you that you know do watch some of my videos or whatever or not, um, you know I just picked this up um, sometime last week. This is the Hasbro Transformers Generation Starscream. Yes, it's me, Starscream. <laughs> this is really, really cool. Um, very interesting toy. Um, I do like it a lot. I really do. Um, I think a lot of people, uh, I can't see why you wouldn't be, but, um, you know, big fans of the uni um, the leader class um, Transformers and stuff like that. As, as again, everybody kind of likes to have that big toy once in a while. Some people definitely like the Voyagers maybe more, but, you know, everybody has their own opinion. I like leader class. I think leader class is cool. Um, I'd love to see a lot more, but leader class leader class can hurt the 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 pocket a little bit more, <laughs> obviously, as they need to be in the forty fifty dollar price points. Um, but yeah, so enough rambling. I'm just kind of really excited. Uh, as you can see, it has some info here. Tells you what it can do. Shows you one of his hands. How he has a Gatling gun there. Some just you know kind of like graffiti techno graffiti whatever you want to call it he is an f-22 raptor there he is there and uh two and one vehicle mode there he is very very cool now the bottom here shows you who else comes with uh, in terms of this line yes he comes with the iron hide as you can see there um he is a leader class. You read a little bit of that there if you like. There's his specs. Okay. And then the side of the package there. All right. And there he is in the front of the package. Very, very cool. Now, I will comment, um, one of my favorite um, reviewers to watch is, um, and I've mentioned him, I think, during this whole past week, is uh, there's three of them. It's, it's three three buddies. They're, you know, they're all buddies with each other, and among other people, too, but um, Mike Mouse, um, Sport Wolf 3, and Mitch Santona, the great Mitch Santona. Um, what's his name? Um, I'm sorry, Mike, <laughs> Mike Mouse 74. He actually just reviewed this, but what's interesting is that um, he is he is Canadian. He lives in Canada, um, land of the Wolverine. <laughs> and um, he actually, when he showed the package, I was like, is that the same thing that I have? I thought it was kind of weird. He actually showed it off in this package here. So they didn't, they didn't per se get the um, Generations package. They have the Dark of the Moon package, or maybe it's the um, the generic one, the, tri uh, the Transformers trilogy package. It doesn't say this, but it looks like the Dark of the Moon package. Um... So I thought that was very interesting. Um, yes, that is Ironhide, and no, I've never taken him out of the box yet. I don't know why. <laughs> so, but anyway, uh, there's, you know, there's nothing special about him. I do like him a lot, but I don't know why I just never took him out, if you're wondering. But anyway, so as you can see, um, yeah, so I have the Generations version. Um, I actually picked him, and yes, I did pick up the Ironhide. Picked them both up at um, Toy, um, Toy Tonk? No, Toink Toys? Yeah, Toink Toys. Um, I picked him and a few other guys that I'll be showing you um, during the week and whatever not. Um, or actually, you'll see them in the toy hall and whatever you see from one package. I saw from um, um, Toy Toys. So, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Really good, pretty good deal that I got him for, too, both of the guys. Um, he does have a gimmick. So I think it's a little shortened from the regular version. I think he says I am Starscream or something like that. But I will be showing you that um, at, at, at the same time. I will be doing a comparison with both of them as I do also have it. So yeah, so I'm really excited. Let's um, crack them open. Okay, we are back. So there he is out of the package. Again, you have seen this mold before, not a big deal. Um, but it's cool, I, li I like the recolor. Now I do want to actually point out, um, and this is somewhat of a fact, and, and I'm, I am a fan of him. I, I mean, he has quite a few thousand subscribers, so a lot of people are fans of him. Um, 
Mr. Plastic Robots actually already came up with this well over a year ago. So, unfortunately, Hasbro was not really the first. <laughs> now, I'm sure there's other customers that probably had done this too, but um, I did want to point out that um, Mr. Plastic Robots had done this prior, and he actually probably did a, he honestly did a better job, I should say. So, um, this is cool. This is great, um, as I, you know, might never be able to, do, you know, be able to come up with my own and probably wouldn't want to pay somebody to do one, as, you know, I mean, these things take time and they can be pricey, so... Um, when you ask for customs and stuff like that but um he did do um actually he did the whole seekers i believe the whole seeker line so so there you go so anyway so you can check them out um so anyway so going back to this um asia exclusive it's really cool i mean i, I like the colors i was kind of playing with it um i was comparing it to the first one um you know it still has the all the same gimmicks comes with two missiles um the arms here he is still top heavy <laughs> so that hasn't changed unfortunately um the arm here he has the switch here his gatling gun which is really nice and you actually do see that in the movie which is pretty cool um, you can just pull that back and it hides really well kind of show you that again one more time so that's a pretty cool job in terms of engineering um, and then on this side here um let me move the arm a little bit here he has two sets of rockets and I'm pretty sure that was also actually done in the movie too, where he shoots two rockets out of his um, hands. So, and then you can just pull it back again, and it hides. It's pretty cool. Do that one more time. Actually, it's a little jam there, but yeah. It comes with this funky arm here. I don't know. It's kind of like a, kind of like a set of tridents, and it's supposed to be missiles, I guess. And I guess it's supposed to be his hands are like all you know, like folded in or whatever. Um, and you can obviously take it out. Um, and you can store it back here. You can just kind of take this. And you just store it back there when you're not using it. And just leave it there. So this, this gets out of your way. And you can just come back and fold his arm back out again. His hand, I should say. So real good articulation. I mean, his whole wrist just... I mean, his, um, his arm just moves 360. Um... This actually has a little bit of wiggle, I guess, his shoulders, which is pretty cool. His hand obviously moves. Um, same thing with the other you know, side. He has ratchets on his feet, as you can see there, up and down. His knees go forward and actually just strictly forward. They don't go back. So he's kind of like um, retarded, I guess. <laughs> so, um, and his, hand, his head actually turns to and be in, with his feature here his actual hand you know his face um his mouth opens now they did jip us in terms of um the sound chip i don't know why they would do that um maybe because it's you know over there in japan or whatever or in asia all of asia you know hong kong whatever um so they kind of jipped us and they took away the whole phrase um, and I'm going to show you that right now. Will crush the Autobots. So they probably figure, well, they're not going to understand the rest, so as long as he just knows his name, that's fine. No one can defeat Starscream. Decepticons will crush the Autobots. No one can defeat Starscream. So pretty interesting. <clears throat> Decepticons. Starscream. That's it. So we, we did get a little gypped. But again, I understand, I mean, maybe because it is an Asia exclusive, then what, you know, what would be the use if they don't understand what they're, you know, if the general public maybe just wouldn't understand. Um, I know if you're like in Japan, um, they actually, their second language is English now or whatever. But, um, you know, maybe for the rest of the Asian countries like China and Japan, I mean, not Japan, um, Korea or, um, you know, whatever, they just... It probably would be no use, so they just kept the Decepticon and Starscream. So that's pretty much it um, in terms of um, the look. As you can see them there next to each other, I mean, it is it is a night and day difference. Um, it's pretty interesting. Again, there must be somebody in Hasbro that has a lot of love for Starscream, so I think that's pretty cool. As they've done this quite a few times, and I'll show you that as we cut into the um, vehicle mode. Okay, here he is in his jet mode, his F-22. Um, it's pretty nice. Again, you know, same thing as the first one, obviously. Except his, you know, his paint apps are a lot better. 
his Decepticon symbols are huge this time around. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Very G1 as the movie version. Um, it's just a little bit smaller and he's it's facing the other way instead and he has all these tattoos one thing if you do own this toy as you can tell it is really super insensitive this one's not too bad um, they either hit or miss either they're very sensitive or they're not this one happens to be so it's really annoying um, I never really would have honestly have would wanted to had um, reviewed this just for that simple reason because this transformation is actually not too bad it's not that hard um, let's see. It's a little louder on that, and I think Might Mouse actually even said that in his review. Starscream. No one can defeat Starscream. And the only one thing I forgot to show you was when he was in robot mode, he pressed um, the top button, and he does the transformation. That's pretty much about it. Um, Color-wise, let's see on the thrusters there. It's a very nice red. Um, yeah, it's pretty red there too. It's not too bad. Bottom of it, so you can kind of see where he stores the claw there. So you can see it there. And there's that one there. Um, unfortunately, on mine, I don't know what the hell I did with the missiles. I have a, a tin box with um, all kinds of weapons and stuff like that. So it's, it's somewhere, somewhere put away. Um, and the only other one issue that I have with my new Asia exclusive is that um, it just won't peg here and I made sure that all the inside you know um, pegs are all tight and in and whatever not but for some reason I just can't peg this and I don't want to break it and it's that that big of a deal for me so I don't have a I don't have a big problem with it for those of you that are into jets and stuff you will notice um, and I don't know if other people have talked about it. Real F-22s, actually, other than obviously this is a toy, um, he has a lot of junk in the bottom here. They're actually kind of like the Tetra Jets. They are kind of come down a little, and then they fold back in. That's what makes them um, stealth-wise, that you would never see missiles. So they actually have compartments where the compartment opens, and that's how they shoot their bombs or, throw, or shoot their missiles. So this is the only thing that's kind of inaccurate about it where it's it has this this much openness but that's fine you know it's the toy so it is what it is but when you see it this way yeah it's pretty close pretty close to an f-22 so i'm going to show you one more look of um starscream and some of his other movie incarnations and the last shot that i'll leave you with is with starscream and the rest of his brethren um, a lot of these are actually all star screams. Um, right here in the front, the very first star screen that we got as a toy in 2007, and that is your Voyager size. Um, later on, over here, that is the um, G1 Redeco. So that was the homage to the G1. As you can see, again, like I said, somebody at um, Hasbro definitely has a lot of love for Starstream, so I do appreciate it. <laughs> Over there, we got Dirge. I'm sorry, I'm um, Ramjet. Um, actually, Dirge is missing, and so is Thrust. Thrust was not added or um, Dirge for this collection. Um, over there, that is your, I guess, your premium edition Starstream. Has these very, very silver. Um, over there is your Thundercracker. My man, Skywarp. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Um, over there in the bottom are the two um dark of the moon as they became now deluxe classes your star screen your thundercracker again um top row right there that is your nebulon for revenge of the fallen that mold actually cleaned up a lot of the problems that this had being all bulky um and it's just a lot more accurate there is your i guess that's the target exclusive there in the middle um and then that's the uh, original release with all the tattoos and stuff and then obviously I already showed you him the leader class from the Hunt of the Decepticons. And last but not least, your Asia exclusive. I think I have all of them. I'm not 100% sure. Well, in terms of American releases anyway, other than this being my first Asian exclusive or whatever. Um, I guess some of the um, Asian ones, or I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. Takara Tomi 
versions might be a little bit different. So, I, yes, I'm missing those. But I think in terms of American releases, I have all of them. Um, I don't think they ever made a third version of any of this. So, um, I had, think I've seen Skywarp, but maybe that's a Takara exclusive. Um, I really haven't done the research because I'm more into, um, I, even though I like Starscream a lot, I'm, you know, to me, like Optimus Prime is a little bit more important right now. So, that's actually what I've been buying recently. I've been trying to acquire as many Optimus as I can. But anyhow, <laughs> again, guys, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoy this review and my small little collection here of um, Seekers. Um, I do appreciate it. You guys take care. Please rate, subscribe, share, comment. And I will see you guys with the next review later. Peace.